gather round children our cousin brandon has released the catalog for his spring 2024 collection so you know what we gotta do we gotta go through everything we're going you know go through the pages see what we like what we don't like i feel like i haven't done one of these videos in a very long time but we gotta get to it because you know this is on limited time and we've got a lot to discuss just had to readjust so you guys can have a little look see at the catalog so uh, this collection is dropping on march 1st which is my youtube anniversary but it's dropping Mar friday march 1st and the orders actually won't ship until april 1st it's expected some it might come earlier it might come a little, a little later but again this is a pre-order pre -order situation like y'all ain't new to this like y'all know the drill so let's go ahead and flip through the catalog we're gonna start off with some oldies but goodies that you should be familiar with if you've been rocking with my channel and brandon blackwood for a while so we're gonna start it off with the nia bag of course you guys know i do have the nia it's a fantastic bag just very classic elegant and it's pretty durable given the fact that it's a smooth leather did i do a full review on this i don't know see i, I can't even reference myself Ciao. but anyway, yeah we do have some some okay colors I, I i thought it would be you know a introduction to some different colors different vibes you know but he has brought back the uh wicker one that Honestly, I feel like that's for the the IG fashion girlies. It's not really my taste, but you know, it's it's a cute little bag, you know? But they also do have the medium Nia. Now the difference between the regular and the medium is that the medium is actually smaller than the original. So keep that in mind when you're making your purchases. The one that's really standing out to me is the medium Nia bag, the zebra beat it i love a good beat it bag and this one looks like really really good y'all know me i love good craftsmanship and attention to detail and i just feel like that one in particular there's something to it you know yes it's a zebra print listen i'm from jersey we we like all the animals but i'm just like oh, beat it tell me more i i can't see the can I see the back of the bag? Like, well, hold on, let's go to the regular site. Cause I'm just flipping through the catalog so we can talk. Yeah, so the beading is front and back, which I was a little nervous about because sometimes people like to stop when it comes to the back, but it looks like the beading is all the way around, which is fantastic. Love that for us. But <laughs> if you actually wanna go smaller with your bags, you're like, oh, girl, I just came here with my lip gloss, okay? Then the micro Nia, that's gonna be your bag. I feel like that is a really, really good party, like little bag. And I don't be going to enough parties and social events to have something like that. Like I need to get my life together. But out of all of them, it's something about that green metallic one that calls to me like a sea siren. It, I, it's so cute and then Normally, I don't like oversized hardware on such small things, but for some reason it works. It really does work for this particular piece. It's that green one. That green one is just calling me. And I don't know what I would do with that bag. Like, it would just be sitting next to the little bamboo one that I got in here. But I think I would probably reach for that one just a hair more only because it looks like you can fit like your credit cards and things so i don't know i think the the little micro nia even though i'm not tiny bag energy kind of girl i feel like it's it's a vibe it's fun it's fun and i like it also gracing us with her presence is the yuda bag yuda i still like the puffiness of this bag overall the only thing i wish is that the thick chain was removable but other than that i think it's a fantastic bag but i love i absolutely love linen you give me a linen option and then all of a sudden i'm looking at it a little bit differently i'm just like hey what you doing over there kind of like that so although it is puffy i, I, I think it's cute of course, we got to talk about Daphne. 
Daphne is a fantastic bag. I do own the green one, which is absolutely stunning. I have not been able to put it to use because as most of you know, I went through a breakup, had a move. So a lot of my bags were in the boxes. So I haven't been able to play with most of my bag collection. However, Brandon, shout out to the Kimura bag. She been holding me down. But getting back to Daphne, fabulous bag like and again she is plus size friendly we always love that around these parts so i like it if you were interested in the ysl bag i know they have something very similar to this girl you can get a plethora of colors okay so i really do like this bag it's really nice durable comfortable on the shoulder and just very simple now i can't attest to other oil slick bags but this one it's not as I guess oily as one would think let me get a little close up for you so it's smooth it is shiny but it's not hella shiny you know it's got a nice little sheen on it she got a little Vaseline on her body a little oil combination so I really do like the Daphne bags it's really cool I do like them it I, I want to see more colors though I want to see some fun one, come on. And plus, I, I wanna see some silver hardware. <laughs> yes, I'm a different beast, new year, new me. But yeah, I know the white one does have silver hardware, but I, I think we should expand on her just a little bit. Just a little bit, a couple of other colors. I think that would be fun. <laughs> but moving on to the bag that <laughs> us corporate baddies must unite around, Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. It's, Jasmine is such a good bag because it is literally something that I could wear to work and, you know, just be on my A game with. Like, ooh, you gonna have to take me a little bit more seriously than that, Bob. So, <laughs> I, I really do like Jasmine. I remember when he first released it, he didn't think it was gonna be like a huge, like, hit. But I knew that that bag was perfect. The downfall of that bag is because it's a trapezoid shape, you can't really put too many things towards the top of the bag, but I carry a whole lot less than I used to now. So it it's okay for me, but the one color that's really speaking to me, which is surprising, is the pink one. Who have I become? Child, y'all know I don't be running around the streets with the, a lot of pink things, but oh. It's something about the pink one. I can't remember if in the previous collections, if he had a pink one. Like I remember having the orange. I remember having the green ones, like the black. I remember those colors. I do not remember the pink one. And for some reason that magenta with the gold hardware, it's making me think twice. And the reason why I don't pick up the Jasmine bag is because I am just torn with the colors. And now you want to throw in the pink one? Really, Brandon? Like, you just gonna do me like that? <laughs> Overall, I feel like Jasmine is just one of those good bags. If you're a fan of the um, Kelly bag, or if you're a fan of the Peekaboo Fendi bags, I feel like this is a fantastic alternative. I love a one-handle situation up top it's got a shoulder bag like it's just clean got feet just mm, love it love jasmine and i feel like it's still gonna do well so let's talk about some of these new bags that have entered the chat starting off with the de la cruz bag this i really really like it i think this is a cute little number perfect for like summers you want to be light just walk around it doesn't appear that it's plus size friendly where you can put it, you know, hook it and crook it. But for me, it would be a top handle option. But y'all already know which one I would be eyeing. And it's the linen one. The linen one? Oh, that one is speaking to my soul. I really like the pleating of this bag. I love that he used hardware to put his name on the bag. Y'all know me, I like a little razzle dazzle, okay? So everything about this bag is just like beautiful. Inside it appears to have a slip pocket, a zippered compartment. The whole bag itself does zip. Does it have feet? And it has feet. 
we love a feet moment. We, we got a little foot fetish over here. Not really, but bag wise, yes. But yes, I really do like this one. It's that linen one. It's gonna be hard for me not to add that one to my cart because it's so good. It's so cute. Like, imagine a white, like, like a white top with the, you know, wide leg pants and carrying that around, your sunnies on, your gold hardware, stunting on these hopes. I really love this bag. Like, I think it's so cute, just very effortless and chic. I love it. It comes in a lot of the oil slip colors. And I I think this is one. Oh, what, what do we have here? Is this, oh, there's a snakeskin option. This brown snakeskin looks like a problem in the best type of way. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Hold on now. <laughs> I might have to rethink something. It is notably more expensive, obviously, but ooh, that, oh, wait a minute. Brandon, don't do this to me now. Okay, we gotta keep going, child. I wasn't checking for that one at all. SLG, we have the Wooster wallet. And I'm not a huge fan of thick, bulky wallets, but I do like this blue one. I think out of all of them, but that one is really, really cute. But when you open it up, let's see, how, much, how, how does it work out? We have a zippered compartment, and then we have a button closure. And with the button closure, that's where you put your cards at so what's what can you put in the zip one hold on okay the zip one is also maybe some extra cards okay 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 I, i'm digging it it's a little thicker for my preference but um i think it's cute i do wish you stamped brandon blackwood and gold foil to match the hardware that's my only critique y'all listen you know i like to see my stuff okay and i like a little gold foiling but, but um yeah it's a cute little wallet brandon <sighs> my favorite bag is going to be the Cory bucket bag. This is 1000% like the top of my list. I've been wanting a mini size bucket bag for a while now. I absolutely love my Louis Vuitton No Way in the GM, but it's also the GM. So I want a little cute little something something. And this bag, let me tell you, checks all the boxes. Top handle, check. Long crossbody strap, check. Uh, uh, card slots inside, check. Feet at the bottom of the bag, check. No notes, no notes. I absolutely love this bag. I think it's really, really cute. Of The one that I'm after and I don't want y'all fighting in my cart for is the white one with the gold hardware. Take me to paradise. I, who, whose yacht am I going on? Like, I, oh, I love that one out of all of them. Like the tan one, she, she fighting for my attention too. But hands down, that white one. I think a pink would have really been a, a good bestseller in this one. I'm, I was actually pretty shocked that you didn't have pink. I'm gonna be honest with you, but I know you gotta test the water. I know you gotta do, you gotta do that, but yeah, it's summertime. I think a, a summertime pink would have been real good in this one, in this Cory bucket bag. I, I just like how this one looks. It looks great on the model. It doesn't look too small. It looks like you could possibly fit a water bottle because the height of it is six inches. So you might be, it might be poking out, but nonetheless, water is water, okay? So the bucket bag, I do not want to be fighting with y'all, okay? Don't, don't you dare, okay? It's my anniversary. Let me get my bag, okay? Thank you, management. Moving on. <laughs> Now this cute little thing, Midori backpack. We have a backpack. He's not a stranger to backpacks. 
This one, I thought this was a cute little something something. What really draws me in with this one is the actual top handle. So it kind of doubles as a regular bag. Um, the only thing is like, do, do you have removable straps? That's the question. They do look adjustable, but yeah, they don't move. It don't move, but it does have a couple of adjustment settings. So you'll always have the string dangling. Obviously as a backpack, you there's nothing you can really avoid with that. But I think the cute little backpack is, is nice. It looks like the Wooster wallet is the actual pocket for this bag. Now, uh, again, I, I don't love that big B on the little pocket, but it's okay. I'm, but I'm also surprised that you didn't use the same like eyelet tips for this bag that you did with the bucket bag because this one is knotted. I would have liked to see the, the gold tips, but maybe because of the big B and then the closure being the B also, you know, maybe that was a little too much hardware possibly. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a part of the design team. Okay. I can only tell you what, what I can see. So yeah, I love how it, it closes though, because it's not just the drawstring. You have the same mechanism that you have with the Jasmine bag where you kind of have to feed it through and it clamps down like that. The only thing I think with the Jasmine bag, because it's a thin trapezoid, it probably will get annoying because you'll probably have to like flip down the B in order to get into the bag. Whereas this one, because it's drawstring, it can go and expand out a little bit further. You can still keep it like that. You don't have to flip it down. You know, I'm a visual person, you know, but yeah, I think it's a cute little bag. Something fun. You can't go, really go wrong with a mini backpack, can you? No, you can't. So it's cute. It's cute. I, again, this is something I thought would have come in, you know, some fun colors, but it's okay. This new bag. First of all, it has my French name. If I ever were a Parisian, Jacqueline. <laughs> if I ever get to Paris, I'm just going by Jacqueline the entire time. Cause that's just my cold word name. But this bag, again, very cute. However, it is very thin. There's no depth with this bag. And I, it's something like just th throw it on and keep pushing, you know? This one, you can fit thin items. You can fit probably your hand sanitizer, maybe a little powder compact, your lip gloss, a, couple, a card holder, boop, and you're just off for the day. So this one comes in a lot more colors. See, I was wanting colors. But Brandon, this is directly towards you. How dare you? Why is this the only yellow bag in the entire collection? Like, I'm upset because I love a good mustard yellow. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, this, this is what we're doing right now? Like we keeping secrets from each other, huh? Like we, like you have the baby blue, the baby pink, the orange, the sage, the white, that white one though really, really good. And then it's got this little cute, like petite, like pocket. Like, I want to know what can I fit in there? People's emotions, my tears, like just my level of patience. It's this cute little bag, but look at the, the thickness, the depth of that bag. You know, I don't want y'all to be disappointed out here thinking it's going to be as thick as, you know, Daphne over here and you get it home and you like, hold on now. I can't fit nothing in it. Look at the pictures and do your due diligence, investigate. That little pouch, it is removable, which is great. And it looks decently thick. And also this bag has a, it looks like a pocket on the back as well, which is nice. You know, you could put your Metro card or, you know, a receipt or something, even though you shouldn't have receipts in your purse and wallets, but yeah, it's a cute little, little mm, bag. I prefer Nia, but Nia is more structured and classic. And I feel like Jacqueline, we'll say Jacqueline. No, Jacqueline. Jacqueline is just a little bit more fun. I like it. It's cute. Even, even with it being thin, I do like it. Definitely come back and see what I picked up, but you should already know. But I still want you to see my reaction and I want to know what you got too. 
Let me know what you're interested in. Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one.